Hey, what's up YouTube? I just picked up one of those BIQU Aluminum Raspberry Pi 3 enclosures. And what you get in the box is you get a really basic box made in China. And you get the case and a little baggie. Allen wrench is not included. And uh, you get a little bag with four screws and you get the um, little rubber pieces. Now the rubber pieces don't need to be very big. Um, as you can see, these are really small rubber pieces. The reason being is there's no ventilation on this case. The whole idea of this case is that the heat dissipates throughout the case. The case acts as a natural heat sink. So the heat coming off the processor and the RAM goes back into the case and disperses, thus removing the heat, which is a great design. It also makes for a really cool industrial look, if you ask me. I like that a lot. So let's go ahead and check out this case. You got the bottom piece here, you got the top piece. Uh, it is wall mountable, you have two mounts there. Um, you have the little indentations for the um, little rubber grommets. And then you have the four screws which do become recessed because they're pre-drilled. So once the screw is in there, you won't be able to see it. It will not protrude, it will not rub against anything. You got the little micro SD slot there. You got your ports for the video and power. And then you have your USB ports here. And it's a cool little kind of gunmetal color. So very cool in that department. You even have a heat sink for your RAM on the bottom of the Ch Pi, uh, Pi 3. And then the top piece here, very slick. Like I said, gunmetal look. Um, a little bit of slot for the GPIO pins, or I'm sorry, GPIO pins here. Let's go ahead and put this thing together really quick. It has these little tabs here. It has little tabs there, and then it uses the screw holes to hold the pie in. Not only that, but this piece goes on top of the CPU, and this piece cools the uh, the uh, modems well. So you get all the cooling done with this particular case. So it just snaps on like that. All right, we now have the case put together. Here it is, you have your ports there, really clean looking. You even get the little slot, they have little details to cover in between the LAN and the, and the USBs. You have your GPIO area there for your micro SD. Power, HDMI 3.5, and these come out far enough that you don't have to worry about the rubber getting mixed up into this case as well. Um, let's go ahead and practice with the micro SD really quick. You are going to be able to use a micro SD adapter, so if you want to do something like that, you can. Um, you can either put it like this and just show the GPIO up front, or you can show the cables up front, or you can kind of use it like that. A lot of people are going to use it like that so the controls are up front, and then in the back you're going to have your micro SDs. If you don't have an adapter like this, and you want to go ahead and just put it in the micro SD. Let's go ahead and test this. I do like that it's fairly wide. It's wider than a lot of other cases out there. And it's very easy to get your finger in and out. From a 1 to 5, 5 being extremely difficult to get out, I'd give it like a 1.5. It's pretty much as easy as it gets. You don't need a nail. You don't need anything crazy like that. So there you go, this is the BIQU or BQ, however you want to say it. It's a totally aluminum case. It uses its own case to dissipate the cooling and it's one of the more inexpensive cases out there, making it one of the better buys out there. If you want a clean looking case, no fan, but with significant cooling, it's gonna cool way better than a can of kit case or one of those plastic cases. Um, and then you don't have the fan noise either. So a nice buy for sure, give this one a shot. I especially like the gunmetal look, not too shabby. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the video, and we'll see you guys on the next one.